Hello everybody, this is DTM. I'm here with uh, Victor Maestros. Maestros. And I was asked about, uh, today I was asked by Havana. And I just did a uh, podcast with her. And you'll see that at uh, VictorMaestros.com as soon as we start publishing some podcasts. Uh, she was, she asked me about um, drawing with Vector and she's asked uh, where do I get my brushes or why do I use the brush tool so I told her that I make my own brushes and uh, I have downloaded plenty of brushes I have a few and I like to play with my own because I draw a lot and so by creating your own brush you're able to create the type of drawing style that you want by using this brush tool right here, the paintbrush. So, uh, so your paintbrush does stuff like that. And if you have some brushes to play with, you'll notice how it, how it works. Uh, and it takes on it takes the brush takes on the style that you choose and there's a ton of brushes hiding here and uh, and what's cool about using a brush is that it's still a um, path that you can adjust the stroke with so here's that one point and I'll make it a quarter point and that's a quarter point uh, let's say you want to make it thicker make it 10 points and that's what you get so it all comes down to the style of art that you're doing and it'll you get start choosing the type of brush you want to use to get what you want I do like the la brush uh, especially if you have a tablet and uh, right now the settings are not on so it is pressure 12 variation 12 hmm why is it Yeah, there you go. So I like the um, blob brush. So the difference between the blob brush and the paint brush is that the blob brush makes shapes. So there's a shape, there's a shape. But when it comes to the paint brush tool, you get a path. All right, so how do we make our own brush, Dan? That's the question. I love the pen tool. The pen tool is your friend. You must always use the pen tool. So what you do is you create a shape, and uh, let's uh, let's go like this, let's go like this, and like that. And uh, let's say I want my brushes to have this shape here, and it's a cool shape to have because when you're drawing and uh, and outlining th uh, artwork, you want to have the the look of a brush stroke where it goes on thick and it kind of fades out. You can also do a brush like, like this. And uh, you try that. And so basically what you get, let's pop that out so I can use my pen tool. My tools here, there we go. So you can get a more dramatic tip by doing it like this or a shorter tip it all comes down to the um, the type of art style that you want to do so let me make a brush with both of these of course you've got to do one brush at a time and uh, there we go let me move that up perfect so right now I have two brushes or two shapes that I want to make a brush for so let's start with the one in the bottom let's actually move that right there and get this one right here so this is our our uh, fat to thin brush so I highlight my my shape right now it's just a shape it's a, uh, a shape and so I go to my brushes palette panel window and I click on the menu the menu every panel has a menu on the top right corner no matter what panel you're looking at there's always a menu come on uh -oh. Just trying to catch up there we go come on there it is see there's a little menu right there all right so these brushes have a menu on the top right and it says new brush if 
the menu, the first option is new brush. So I click on new brush, bam, I get a whole nother menu popping up and I'm going to select art brush. So I click on art brush and I say, okay. It gives me a whole nother window and I'm going to call this brush uh, fat thin brush. I'm going to ignore a whole lot of the settings here and I'm going to go into where it says method, colorization method, tints. So I click on tints, then I say, okay, bam, look at this. There it is, there's that fat thin, see that? Uh, the name pops up, fat thin. So now I select my fat thin brush, go get my paint brush, and now I have the fat thin brush. Oh yeah, perfect. Very cool. I can grab I'll take that back. I can grab this uh, original shape and just delete it. It's gone. And I go back to my brush tool. There you go. Yep, I didn't like that one. I go like this. Perfect. And one more. So now as I'm looking at this, you realize, hey, these are paths. You see that? And so I can change the thickness of it and I say half a point much better very cool so that's what the paintbrush uh, tool does it's uh it allows you to draw on the screen with a path and the path will have a, a selected shape or style so let me grab all of these and move them down here and let's make a brush tool with this one let me fix this edge and i think even uh let's double check the how it sits see look at that yeah it's off let's go right there yeah 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 let's even that out hmm, okay and it's too wide in the front so let me add a couple an extra point right here and uh fix those two this and like that yeah also yes 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 i'm just kind of playing around with this uh shape right now trying to get it to do what i want in turn so so let's take a look at what we have we have a uh uh straight side and it kind of make fattens up near the end and it tapers off yeah that's not a cool not too bad looking of a of a brush if we want it to be a brush right now it's a path it's a solid shape and we're gonna go again to our menus new brush art brush hit okay and we're gonna call it uh, flat fat thin there we go and go to method and it's gonna be method tints hit okay and there it is right there look at it it's right here so now let me go here. I'm gonna grab this whole uh, I hey root, copy it. Let me get rid of this right here. Select the second I hey root and touch the select the flat fat thin and there it is. Let me change the thickness of it. Oh, that's a four. That's a two. That's a one point. And there we have it. So now you can tell the difference in how it starts right here and how this one starts right here. And it has a curve, and this one does not have a curve. Yes, yes, one last trick. Once you have the brush you want and the thickness and everything is set, you can turn it into a shape by clicking on outline stroke, and there you have your shapes. So it's no longer a stroke. This is still a stroke. That is not a stroke. And, uh, and it was a very simple process. So once again, I made a couple of brushes. Now that I have the brushes I like, I can say uh, save brush library, which will be these right here. And as a matter of fact, let me just get rid of some. Hold on. Let me, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Get rid of that. Get rid of that and let's do the basic in there and then we say save brush library i'm gonna save it as fat thin 
and uh, save it. So now, anytime I want these brushes, so let me go to my window and uh, brushes. Oh, well, there they are, but I can also go here, and there it is. Bet then, and I have some other ones that I've created in the past. My DTM draw. I have a few other ones already set up for the type of art that I do. All right. So I hope you learned something. Uh, if you want to know more about Adobe Illustrator and creating vector art, check out VectorMaestros.com. Follow the links. And we have an online course. We have podcasts, YouTube videos, how to create stuff in Vector Illustrator, Adobe Illustrator videos. And uh, always shoot me a message anytime you want. DTM at VectorMaestros.com.